Welcome to the behind the scenes look of the 2014 Jazz Festival. We're at camera five. We can make mix five. <laughs> I, Callie Stefano, will be showing you the filming and the production of the festival. You can drop the card. The Westman Centennial Auditorium, located on the Brandon University campus, plays host to most of the 2014 Brandon Jazz Festival performances. Other performances take place at the Lauren Watson and Evans Theatres. There are also musical workshops which take place throughout the campus. Let's go take a look at what our camera operators are up to. The auditorium has five camera operators who work on large fields or handheld cameras to provide the imagery necessary for each performance. I'm here with Scotty Guire, who is one of the five camera operators for the Jazz Festival. Scotty, could you please explain to me what you're doing for the Jazz Festival and if you're nervous because visuals are very important for broadcast. Uh, I'm not really too nervous. I'm going to be shooting the wide camera so farther out in the audience. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to it because we've had heaps of practice this season working with WCG on their volunteer uh, mobile shifts. The Cinnaboyne Community College's Interactive Media Arts program is on site to film this festival. Over 20 students, along with five faculty members paired with WCG TV, will film, produce, and broadcast this event. Months of preparation are required for a production of this magnitude. ACC crew come on site a day before to set up the equipment and to ensure that everything is prepared for filming and producing this festival. This is the Interactive Media Arts Mobile Production Unit. Inside is the production team who produces all the content for broadcast. Let's go take a look inside. This is the VTR area where we record the live produced show onto tape and then send it onto live stream. The camera control unit, or CCU, calibrates all the cameras so they look the same and watches for any changes in lighting or exposure. The audio engineer is in charge of bringing audio in from the auditorium and mixing it with other sources for broadcast or post-production. The director is in charge of the switcher and must cut to the correct camera as called by the director. And, and if you haven't guessed take two. First. And mix three. The director is in charge of the cameras and decides which and shots three, for which cameras should be taken with. The director has creative control over the entire production. And take three. ACC staff are always on hand to guide and instruct the students with their knowledge and expertise of the equipment during live production. Greg Sharis, who's an instructor in the Interactive Media Arts program from ACC. Greg, could you please explain to me what a good opportunity this is for the students be, to be able to put on a production of this magnitude? You know, I think it's a really unique experience for students uh, in our program to be able to come out and have a multi-day experience in the field and we're doing all of the activities that uh, we talk about in the program and that we try to prepare people for in industry. We also have cameras and a host working on other venues on the Brandon University campus to record vocal jazz sessions, instrumental sessions, and workshops that take place away from the auditorium. I'm here with Chloe Hoffner, a student in the Interactive Media Arts program. What I'm supposed to do is to bridge the pieces together. Uh, I'll be explaining who's performing, what school they come from, and their director, and just talking a little bit about their group. All in all, it's a complicated process a full, that puts uh, all the students' skills to the test and helps them further those skills. From the Interactive Media Arts Program from ACC at the 2014 Brandon Jazz Festival, I'm Callie Stefano.